This is module 45. Now almost all of the topics in module 45 can be found in module 12. So if this module 45 is not completely finished for you already, based on what you did in 320, um, you might still have some topics to work on in module 45. If not, there should only be one topic that you haven't seen and that's the one I'm going to go over right now. In order to access module 12 video, you need to go into Canvas and go to the Math 320 course. And then scroll in that home page so that you can find the video for module 12. If you're missing anything from um, module 45, those topics will be in that module 12 video. Okay, those will also be the same for module 46 and module 47. Everything in these two modules are in that um, videos for module 12. I think there's two or three videos for module 12. So these two um, modules in Alex should already be completely mastered because if you finished everything in module 12, then these would already be finished as well. But if you missed something in module 12, then there may still be something in these two modules for you to finish. And you can go use the videos for module 12 as a reference to figure out how to work those out. Okay? Just look for the topic just like this and then find the problem. Okay, the only one that's in module 45 that we haven't seen in module 12 is this topic. Classifying systems of linear equations from graphs. And so they'll have three different graphs and they basically want you to give them these labels. Consistent, independent consistent dependent or inconsistent okay and so um we need to know what these words mean so independent means that you have two different lines dependent means that it actually is the same line consistent means that you have solutions which means the graphs touch um and they could touch at one spot or they could touch everywhere and then inconsistent means they don't touch at all, so there's no solution. So for unique solution, it's when the graphs only touch at one point. No solution is when the graphs don't touch at all. And then infinitely many solutions is when they touch all over the entire line, okay? So let's look at system A. System A has L1 and L2. L1 and L2 are obviously two different lines. They have completely different slopes. This one's got a positive slope, this one's got a negative slope. So that makes them independent. And they do in fact touch right here at this point, so that makes them consistent. So when I'm selecting my choices here, for this one I'm gonna select consistent, independent. And then, do they have any solutions? Yes, they touch only at one spot, which means they're gonna have a unique solution. It may have you type in that unique solution. And if it does, one, two, three, four, four for the X and one, two, three for the Y. So four, three would be that unique solution. Now system B, we have L1 here, L2 there. They're obviously two different lines. So it's an independent system. And the graphs do not touch, which means it's an inconsistent um, problem. So you would say inconsistent, independent, or if it doesn't allow you to select independent, just select inconsistent. And the, since the graphs never touch, there is no solution at all, so you would tell them there is no solution. For system C, you have L1 and L2 right on top of each other. So in this case, L1 and L2 are the exact same line. They lie on top of one another. So they are what are called dependent system. And the graphs touch, they just happen to touch everywhere along this line. So they are still consistent. But because they touch every single point on this line, and the line goes forever in this direction and forever in this direction, they do have infinitely many solutions.